Okay, we're going to start with a 15 inch wreath base. Got my tinsel ties already on. And I have 10 inch mesh that I'm going to do a ruffle with, and it's cut at 24 inches. And we're going to be using, uh, it's buried under here, we're going to be using one of my new signs, Welcome Fall. And this little guy is now in my shop also. See, he matches the sign. So that's what we're going to be working with today. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm just hoping I don't start sneezing. There's a little bit of uh, burlap in this. Everybody having a good day? I appreciate the sprinkle. So this has a little bit of, like I said, a burlap in it, and it's black, and I'm going to be alternating regular black with the burlap, the black with the burlap in it. Thank you. And I'm going to be using my pearly weights to weight it down. They are so handy. Pearl Higgins, who has um, Pearl's Whimsical Wreaths, she made these. And they come in various sizes. They're great for your um, ribbon tails. They're great for weighing stuff down when you're cutting it. Hey, Missy, how are you? Welcome. I didn't get a chance to share your live from yesterday. I will go back. I've just been so busy. We're just going to do the basic ruffle. This is 10 inches, cut it 24 inches. And we're doing every other one. And we'll be using one of my new designs. Welcome Fall, which I'm now making for my signs, wreath attachments to go with it. So that's what we're using today. And I'm alternating between the plain black and the black with the, with the uh, burlap attached. I can make his hat in different colors too, but the hat on the, um, or the face on the scarecrow, I actually um, duplicated the face from the, from the sign and made the face myself with my um, heat press. Yes, I did. I have a gingerbread coming up. I have a snowman coming up. Um, just some really cute little, not too expensive um, wreath attachments. I already listed him in my Etsy store with the sign. You can buy him with or without the sign. So if you go to my Etsy, shop boutique whatever we're not allowed to say <laughs> i can point <laughs> i 
And if you wouldn't mind sprinkling, I'd really appreciate the extra help. Every little bit helps. a few ribbons. I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to go with. So I thought once we get everything on, then I'll see where it takes me. I want to pull some of that burgundy out. I also want to pull some of the cream out. Um, the check. So I've got the check um, pumpkin Thank you. I don't know if any of you got a chance to see it, but I went on YouTube and I downloaded um, a video, tricks and tips from, you know, behind the camera. So you might want to check it out. It's in my YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. I posted it the other day. They are actually fabric shower curtains, so they're nice and lightweight because the um, Walmart curtain rod that I bought was 84 inches. It's meant to be mounted on a wall, but we mounted it on the ceiling. So I provided tips in there on how to, best way to mount it to the ceiling and how to keep the curtain rod from popping out. I also shared um, some of the um, equipment I use, so you might want to check it out. I know most of you have really great setups where you can view your ribbon and stuff, um, but this kind of takes it to the next level. I don't know about you, but when everybody's on and I'm looking at all their stuff, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at all their stuff. I'm not paying attention to the method as much as I am. Ooh, what color ribbons do they have? <laughs> so this is just a way to keep you visually in tune to what's going on here. So you might want to check it out, especially if you do lives. Um, there may be one or two things you can find in there. <laughs> I, that was by accident, Iona. I did not plan that. <laughs> I actually had these curtains down in my um, my lower level. I used to do a class down there, so these were used just to cover up some stuff so not everything was so out in the open down there. And I thought, you know, these will work great. I even contacted one of my puppy parents who, um, he does commercials and stuff like that and I said what do you think about this color background and he said perfect so I have it from good authority <laughs> I'm just not supposed to wear like teal <laughs> so which I'm usually wearing my um, my apron anyhow so no big deal and I love white so I wear a lot of white He even jumped on the other night and just to visually get a look at it and he said it was he gave me the thumbs up so so I feel confident and I'm trying to put my best foot forward I mean that's what we have to do when we're on these I mean look at the ones that are doing a lot of lives and they've got that whole wall white shelf with all these fancy stuff sitting on it i mean it it really if you present yourself well people are going to keep coming back so 
That was my goal, to grow up. <laughs> and get serious. So that's why I did it. When I came up out of the basement, it was time for a change and time to get serious. We're going into a big season. Hopefully, we'll be able to have Christmas. So, yes, right? Oh, thank you. That color in my hair, um, I always tell everybody it came from England. It was my mother's, my grandmother's hair color. And I was the only granddaughter. So imagine how she was. I didn't know it for the longest time because my grandmother had gray hair, so. I always thought her hair was gray <laughs> until somebody mentioned she has hair like you used to. Then it was like, oh. So I always tell everybody it came from England because that's where she came from. <laughs> she was very special in my life and she's missed. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. It gets a little darker as you get older, so you have to make adjustments. So, I'll be on the adjustment bottle for a while from now on. But it's really hard. There's only certain... Um, places that can get the color so I had to um, start doing it on my own to achieve what I wanted to so I so appreciate you all on here today thank you so much it means a lot Need to get need to make some kind of table attachment so I can like move my computer off of the table and give myself some extra room but we're up here we're operating so now it's just a matter of tweaking things here and there so but it forces me to keep my room clean because usually this room is a mess so I have to keep it clean because I don't want you guys to think I'm filthy. <laughs> so. Really? I actually went into Sally's and said to the lady, I need to duplicate this. And, uh, I kind of worried because she had purple hair and I was <laughs> concerned that this wasn't going to work and it actually turned out great. She was spot on. So all my wreath attachments are now dropping onto the floor. So I will be fishing everything off the other side of the table. Go figure. Oh, cut two extra. No problem. I love this burlap running through this black. It just gives it a rustic feel. Vicky. All right. This last 
one of these that we're putting in. So now, let me fish the rest of my stuff that went on the other side of the table. Bring it back. All right, so I've got some corn. I thought that would look kind of cute. And I thought about putting him over there. And I'm thinking about mounting my sign up at the top and having a nice big old bow down here. Sorry, I have to keep looking at the computer so I can read your comments. I don't want to miss anything now. I want to use something to tie this with. I didn't want to use the... I have a couple of colors here. This is too big. So maybe if I just use black and white check with that... That way it stays within the combination of the bow. That's what we'll do. No problem. All right, now I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some tents to tie. And I'm going to tie some tinsel tie on here first. That will make it easy to attach it to the wreath. And then I will disguise it with the, um, the ribbon. In fact, I think I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here and hope not to burn myself. And just hold it for a minute till it sets up and then I'll twist. There we go. And that's real corny. I've, I don't know where I got it last year, but it's real. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute? Put that in the wreath. I'll probably have a bunch of critters at the door, but hopefully not. <laughs> All right, let's kind of disguise this with a bow. And I think I'm just going to do a regular bow. Not get real fancy. Just a regular bow. So is everybody starting school in their area? That's going to go over in there. I think that's going to look cute. Let's poke some holes in our sign. And I'm going to poke them on the sides. Because it's going to be up. And I'm going to grab from the sides. And we'll need some more sensitize. Okay. 
Hey, Sue. No problem. Understand and congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Sue sold her house in one day. Isn't that awesome? Now starts her new adventure. I didn't have any more of the black tinsel tie, so I thought I would just use the taupe color because I think it'll blend in okay with everything that's going in the wreath. And I'm purposely waiting until the end to decide whether I'm going to put ribbon tails on or not. Okay. They're talking about the end of the month here and people are freaking out. Welcome everyone. Thanks for stopping in. If you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. We're using one of my new signs, Welcome Fall. And now available in my Etsy shop are matching wreath attachments for this sign um i've got some more coming out so be sure to if you hit the little um heart in my etsy boutique that will show that it's a favorite of yours and every time i add new product you will you will know thank you dear all right I got to turn this around to see where I want to put this. I think I'm right about in here. I'm going in. Boy, it's just full. I went with 24 inch ruffles instead of 30. Because sometimes when you have 30 on there, I really have a hard time getting things through it the tinsel ties they really hold well and uh, they're very strong and sometimes it's too much to get through so thank you dear i was gonna call you but i had to I had to get set up, so I will be in touch. I might have went a little too far in with that, so I may need to bring it back up some. Or maybe not. Yeah, needs to come up a little. Isn't that looking good so far? Can you all see it okay? in this a little bit just to bring it back up just a tiny bit there we go I have them in my shop now I know they carry them at um, trendy tree I know um, Sims has them, but everybody was having a hard time getting them. So I actually got them in the taupe and the white. Um, so they're in there and they're reasonable. So, all right, now we have to figure out where we want to put him. So let's see. I'm thinking about right there. What do you think? Does he look good about right there? 
Oh, okay, so they have them too. I know some places only have certain colors, so there are some colors you can't get. So in order to get a variety, you have to order from several places. So does he look good there? And then we'll put a nice bow right here. I'm going to take lack of comments as a yes, <laughs> or hearts, or thumbs up, or something. And see, he also has tinsel ties on the back, so you can anchor him down. He's very lightweight, so he's not going to weigh your um, wreath down. Okay, thanks, miss. It's made out of that really stiff felt and fleece. I actually printed him myself on there. All right. So now we're going to go to, I'm thinking maybe not this one. Oh, I have a pumpkin that I actually distressed a little bit. I added some, no, that looks too cheap. So we're not going with that. So I think we'll go to our bow next. And then proceed from there to decide whether we want to put some ribbons in here. I actually, wanted to just not do a lot of ribbon because I wanted this to be the focal and the bow to be the focal. Now, I don't know, this may have to come up some just to give some room here. Let me see. Thinking right about here. Yes. Yep, right down in here. There we go again. making sure I'm not missing any of your comments. If I do, I will go over it at the end. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to do about 12 inch tails. And about a six inch loop. smaller. There we go. I feel like Edward scissor hands when I get these things out. <laughs> They're just so big. But they are the best scissors ever. Now I need to, when I do this, spend more time making sure that my loops are really even before I put the next layer on. There we go. That looks better. So I always get in a hurry. All right, so we've got that. Next, I was thinking about this one. What do you think? I want to get some of the burgundy in there, but I'm not sure what you think of burgundy with 
orange. What's your take on that? Or I have a solid tan. Added one of these next and then topped it with the burgundy. Do it, do it, do it, do it. You see, I don't want to repeat this, but I like that it just has a little bit of a that flare in the oh, I thought I'd get a lot of news on that one, or I have this one. What do you think about this, this, and this? What are your thoughts? Can you see that okay? Yes, it is. So that's why I want to tie it in there. It's also in his hat. It's also in his face. I'm just trying to decide whether I use this ribbon or this ribbon. Do it. <laughs> I love it, Missy. Okay. Heavier white or lighter in white? Oh, with the burgundy. Good thought. Which one? More white, less white. Welcome, Shauna. Where are you watching from? We're trying to decide which one we go with in here. I think I'm going to go with this. I think that's what we're going to go with. So, let's get rid of these and get these out of the way. Now I got burgundy ribbon all over flying around here. All right. Lighter in white. So you're saying... This one? <laughs> I will go ahead and put this one on next. <laughs> While you guys decide, ladies. like in central Missouri. My father used to live in Missouri. Don't ask me what part of the country. I'm doing my three, three loops, two tails. So because my two tails are over here, I'm putting the other two tails over here. Now I'm taking the extra time to just make sure that my loops are the size I want them. Sometimes by the time I put them in here, they're a little bit too big. So I kind of want to adjust it before I get the next layer on. There we go. Ooh, a black accent loop. With this black is what you're talking about, right? I love Missy's bows. All right, so we've got polka dot and black accent. So 
you're saying not this at all then. Oh, I think I got you. Oh, bitch, that's pretty. And you think the burgundy laying right on top of the of the pumpkins. go with the oops I want my tails on this side it needs to be a little longer under the pumpkins <laughs> okay polka dots then you want the burgundy then you want the tan see like that and then you want the tan this tan Oh no. Thank you, Peggy. See now, I would have never, Missy, put the, um, wait a minute. Gotta just flitch this around so my tails are on the side I want them. I would have never thought to do the one and a half inch under the two and a half inch. I've always followed suit with um, you know, two and a half, then two and a half, then one and a half, then one and a half. That's, that's <laughs> the other one. Is that what you're talking about? This one? And then the black. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I think we got it now. Let me know if I don't. I'm <laughs> still at the, the pre-bow stage here. So we can change it. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yes, Iona says yes. <laughs> Go with the Iona now. <laughs> oh. I can always go back. Hey, Peg. Hi, Z. We're having a we're having a ribbon <laughs> discussion here. Oh, what the heck? And then this one. I'm gonna do one. Is that what you envisioned, ladies? <laughs> Correct me now. They're helping me. <laughs> And I can't follow directions. <laughs> See, I would have thought that would have looked nice on top of the black with the pumpkins. <laughs> yes. Here's what we got so far. We're still on the bow. <laughs> I asked for suggestions and now we keep changing the bow. 
Okay, she says, yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Too funny. Except, I think, I need to make that burgundy just a little bit bigger. So, since we put it under there and it wasn't, originally under there I may have to add some to get it the size I want <laughs> yay <laughs> If anything, we have a great time, so we're glad that the newbies could join us in for a little laugh. And then I'll just trim those as I get closer. All right, so now we're going with these two. Nope. We're going this way. We can always have some fun here. It doesn't always have to be serious. <laughs> there! <laughs> it's a Missy bow. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Missy. You know that. We all just have a good time. Hi, Dawn. How are you? We're, we're messing with my bow. We've changed it. A couple of times but I think we're where we want it to be now <laughs> where are my needle nose there we go there now I'm gonna run just a little bit of this left off there you go How's that? They need a little handsome. He's in my Etsy boutique. He matches the sign. Yep. Sometimes you have to, Peggy. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to go insane. All right, we're just gonna put this on there to disguise the um, zip tie that we used. So, just making sure I'm not missing any of your comments. All right, got that covered up. Now, <gasps> we forgot to put the tinsel tie in there. Thing we did that because I can put a spot of glue in there there we go oh okay now we're gonna put a spot of glue in there kind of hold it down for us there all right let's go in here and trim some of this burgundy so we don't have that showing and then we're going to tie it on and fluff thank you peg <laughs> it, it took some doing to get to this stage but we got it <laughs> Missy took me out of my comfort zone because I'm not used to putting two and a half inch, then one and a half inch, then two and a half inch. I always go in size order. So she took me out of it. And I love that. I love when you guys can participate and share and encourage. Thank you. It's really going to make this sign pop, too. There we go. All right. 
Let's do some fluffing. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to take it off and raise it up one. It's down too far. I don't like where it's hanging. Do you, Helen? So I'm not the only one? Awesome. <laughs> I, and there's no rule. Why, why is that? There's no written rule out there. That's the way we have to do it. Got to think outside the box. All right, now I got it on the upper two. You got to get me a fan in here because it gets hot under all these lights. Look at that. I learned something new today. Missy said it gives it dimension doing it that way. Awesome sauce. I love it. I learned something new. Had a few laughs. Enjoyed everybody's company. I love it. Where are we here? Then and these ribbons are really good. And how my pumpkins stay in the right direction? All but this. Oh no. I don't like it that my pumpkins are headed down there. So. Don't tell anybody. I am cutting it. Turning it around. And I'm going to tuck it in here and glue it to the little um, burgundy piece that's still there. Yes. Nobody will even know, right? <laughs> I'm not touching that with my finger. Yes, I am. <laughs> I, I am really, I do not like to see a bow that somebody took a lot of time making and have the um, direction of the ribbon not working in the direction it's supposed to go. I hate it. I will, I will fix it every time. Visually, that drives me insane. Is there anybody else like that? Or is it just me? Where's my other burgundy one? I did not cut it. There it is. <laughs> Little spot of glue right there. <laughs> Yay! We need a good laugh. And all I had was a protein shake. I haven't, I haven't eaten since breakfast. I haven't had time. Okay. Look at that. We got to mention. <laughs> all right. The only trouble is I can't see the little black one in the middle. So he's going to have to come out some. So I'm going to pull them, pop them up. There we go. Okay, you all heard it here first. <laughs> Missy says that it gives it dimension when you do it like that. So we all learn something new. No, probably y'all knew it. I'm the only one who did know it. <laughs> All right. Now I can start really getting serious here. There we go. And then I'll dovetail. Look at 
get this ribbon just curling right up for me. Dimension and all. <laughs> dementia or dimension. That's where we're at. Now, where are my other ones? There they are. There we go. I'm doing it. Might have it too tight because this is not coming out of the middle very well. I think it should come up a little. It's pulled down too tight. There. I just want it to rest, not choke. <laughs> All right, let's dovetail. And then we'll see if we need some ribbon tails. I sometimes like a bear wreath without a bunch of ribbon tails. But you guys are part of the design today. So, oops. That's right. So you tell me what you think. Yay! <laughs> are you loving it we're loving it missy taught us all dimension or dementia <laughs> i've got dementia <laughs> oh, we dovetailed that the wrong direction not good It is giving it dimension. Woo! I'll be using that method again. There we go. I'm missing. There we go. Curl this down. I want this to go to that side. I want this over here. All right. What do you think? Did we all do good? <laughs> Missy's awesome. I love watching her. I can't always tell when she's on, but when I do realize she was on, I always watch the replay because I love her bows. So do you think we need any, uh, any ribbon tails? I think it did my sign a world of good. <laughs> I think this is too long. What do you think? Do we need ribbon tails? Or how about just some black and white and some burgundy? Let me try something. And then you tell me what you think. What if we just did little bows? A few around the edges. How about like We'll do a burgundy one, and then we'll put burgundy, I was trying to like center it. So like a burgundy, a burgundy, and then a black and white. What do you think? Just a few. And all I did was cross over with this. Put little bows in here. I'll put a couple and then you tell me what you think. Okay. So we've got a burgundy up there. And then 
then a burgundy down here, and then a black and white one. I love it when we have fun here. It's not too serious. Just, just a little bit of fun. Perk up everybody's day. And then right here we'll do a black and white one. I think that'll look good. I could do a tan one. I could do a tan one. All right, let's do a tan one. Which is the front? Okay, this side. We'll start over there with burgundy. This is so cute. And who would have thought that the burgundy would look good with the the orange? Okay, how's that look on the side? Can you see it? Yes. So you're saying start here with a black and white and then a burgundy. This is fun. I like this black and white check. I love it. I'm trying to disguise my tinsel ties here. Because basically I only need them on the side because the ones at the top you're not even gonna see. That really boogered that up. There. And see, I used that burgundy ribbon on his hat, too. And then I have enough to add a tan one in place, too. like it with a, a tail up in the air like that. One tail down, one tail up. That looks kind of cool. 
Yeah. And then we'll go right in here and do a tan one. I kind of like that, a tail up, a tail down. This can get shortened a little bit. Tail up, a tail down. There. All right, let's put a tan one over here. Just making sure I'm not missing any comments. I did put links to my Etsy boutique, my Facebook pages. There are two. I have a contest. Oh, no, let's see that. Okay, you need to go on, on to my, um, my YouTube channel and check out the new fall winter sign release and follow the directions to enter. West well, really looks good against black, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to end it over here with a little black one. I can do one in there, but I think that's going to get covered up by the bow. He needs like a little one under him. under his neck, just right there. No, I'm gonna give him a bow tie. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a bow tie. He needs a bow tie. So we're gonna give him a bow tie. We got a tie right here that we can work with. And we can put another one in there. Won't hurt. Y'all following me? <laughs> All right. Now I need to And we are an equal opportunity. So I'm going to take this bow tie and we're going to put this around it. Now we need to tie it in first and then glue that over the middle because we can't do the bow tie. There we go. I'm gonna dovetail this opposite to give me something to glue to. There. Now, we're just gonna glue right around there. And give him a bow tie. I'm going to fold the ends down.
All right. What do you think? Are we done? I mashed my bow, didn't I? We got to fix the bow. Won't present well the way it looked. All right, we is done. Oh, thanks, Peg. I'm loving it. See his little bow tie? Can you see it? He got a little bow tie. He matches everything. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'm loving it. He's in my Etsy boutique. This is in my Etsy boutique. You look for the sign, you'll find him. Tinsel ties are in there. Uh, there's this ribbons in there. So you can find everything you need. Thank you. And keep watching because we're going to have a gingerbread person, a snowman, all to match the signs this was custom made by me I had help with the face I printed the face on fabric and then I uh, freehand the um, hat drew the hat myself cut it out put it together oh I love it Thank you all for your help and hanging out with me and spreading for me. I so appreciate it. You have no idea. All right. I will see you all for Tag Team Tuesday next Tuesday. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might want to do so. Um, because there may just be a chance I might pop up on there soon before I pop up on here. If you subscribe, there's a link at the top of the comments with the uh, information on how to get to my YouTube channel. Click on that, um, subscribe, then hit the little bell. The little bell notifies you when I'm live. Because I'm always saying the wrong stuff on here. <laughs> So if I get kicked off, that's where you'll find me. If I get put in Facebook as well. Peggy already told me the other week that she would they would take up a collection and bail me out. <laughs> but I know today I already said a few things I wasn't supposed to, so you never know. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to do the the gingerbread girl. She is so adorable. She is going to look so cute. You're just going to melt over her and the, um, the snowman. All right. Have a great evening. Mwah! Love you. And thanks for all the help. Bye-bye. <laughs>